New Hampshire's primary results do appear to have cemented Donald Trump's grip on the Republican Party. So we sat down with three of his staunchest supporters in Allentown, Pennsylvania this week to see what drives their devotion to the former president. This is not a fact check on their beliefs. There's no changing their minds. But more than 72 million Americans voted for Donald Trump in 2020. And it is important to understand why. It's part of our coverage of your voice, your vote. Tell me about yourself and how you came to like Donald Trump. They are the definition of diehard Trump supporters. George Rivera, Jim Vinup, and Angelic Schneider, three voters in the critical battleground state of Pennsylvania. Angelic, born and raised in the Lehigh Valley, a public school teacher for now 25 years. I've seen education change drastically over the last 20, 25 years, um, but not as much as I've seen it in the last four years um, under uh, President Biden. And I've seen a division in our country that I don't think um, he's gonna be able to, to, to unify. I don't like the fact that because I say that I'm a conservative and because I say I'm a Republican, I'm treated with disdain. President Biden has stood up and, and, and talked about the MAGA Republicans and, you know, and the just disdain that he has for the voter. And I represent middle America. I mean, I'm one of those voters. And I believe that Donald Trump, you know, for eight years he, he's been attacked. And if he's elected president, I believe that he'll make, you know, he'll make policy change, he'll secure our borders. You heard some of his opponents during the last few months say the wall wasn't finished, Mexico didn't pay for a wall. Does any of that reverberate with you and you wonder, can he get it done if he wins a second I term? I think he can get it done. You know, he's not a career politician. He is, a, you know, a businessman. And you might not always like the way he says things, but he gets things done. Restaurant managing partner George Rivera at 43 has never voted in a presidential election before, but he says he's now all in for Trump. What got me paying attention to politics was in 2016. I heard Trump giving his inaugural speech. And for the first time being an adult, I've heard a president actually say that they care about the country. They want to make, he wants to make the country great again. He wants to make it great. To me, he's anti-establishment. He's not with the status quo, and he's actually for the people. And what opened my eyes even more was what happened in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. It, feel, it felt as though personal excellence was under attack. Um, I, felt, I feel as though words were being weaponized against people that went against, that go against the status quo. And so I feel as though Donald Trump, he's not the silver bullet that's gonna save the country, but voting for that man and having him elected back into office is the step that we need to take to fix, to make this country great. And what was wrong with the country? To me, what's wrong with the country is we're under financial tyranny, we're under corporate tyranny. What does that mean? Explain that to me. I mean that we're, we're overtaxed. It's hypertaxation. So before you even get to spend a dollar, based on your income, what your fair share is, sometimes you lose 27 to 30%. And you think Donald Trump can change that? And do you blame Joe Biden for, for that? Well, it's, I don't blame Joe Biden. I blame his failed policies. Just because the S&P 500 is at an all-time high doesn't mean that gas isn't higher than it was several years ago. I run a restaurant, so the cost of beef went up 5 to 6%. The way that the country was handled the last four years, people lost their jobs. People lost millions of dollars. People lost everything. A lifelong Republican, Jim Vinup, says Trump hasn't let him down like other politicians he supported in the past. When he came down the escalator, I thought, oh, this is crazy. You know, this guy, he'll never get anywhere. Well, as things went on, I became a diehard Donald Trump fan. Donald Trump does what he says. The only reason he didn't get a lot more done is because they gave him grief every minute of every day. So here's this guy coming down the escalator. A rich guy, married three times, pretty foul mouth. What was it and what is it about him? 
Has he made mistakes? Oh my goodness, yes. But I do believe that his heart's in the right place for me. How many, how many presidents, how many politicians have come out on stage and hugged the American flag? That really means something to me. You've also heard, though, from former generals, from John Kelly, who was his chief of staff, yeah. say he would never, ever vote for That's Donald right. Trump again because of the but way you've he heard treated from other, veterans. You yes, heard but from I, other. And, and, and you said that, and he hugged the American flag. But, but you've heard what he said through those people about the military, about wounded veterans, about uh, Normandy. That doesn't bother you. Yeah, things, things he has said bother me. Am I giving him carte blanche, he can do anything he wants? No, no, absolutely not. I mean, I've said many times, geez, I wish he hadn't said that. But Kelly, I lost respect for Kelly. Mattis, I lost respect for Mattis. Uh, Millie, I lost respect for Millie. And these were people that he put his trust in, and you know what? They stabbed him in the back. You, you said something that interested me, which is Donald Trump cares about me. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, the common man. I, th I really think he has a heart for the common man. I really do. Um, did, did George Bush have a heart for the common man? Mm, I don't think so. He let me down. Mitt Romney let me down. Not only do these voters dismiss Trump's many legal challenges. My opinion is that the justice system is being weaponized against certain individuals. They stand by Trump's false claim that Joe Biden lost the 2020 election, even if it takes a minute. Do you think the election of 2020 was I don't stolen? know that it, I, I, I don't think that it was, yeah, I do. I think it was stolen. I, I, I don't believe that that many people voted for Joe Biden. I, 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 and I will never believe that. I, I don't believe No matter that. how many lawsuits or court cases there no were. No matter how many lawsuits or court cases, when, when something is proven, um, I think you have to investigate the other side of it. I take it you believe the election was stolen. Yes, I do. You know, people will say, well, there isn't, there isn't enough to overturn this particular election. That, really? You put it all together, I think there might be. Why aren't we looking at it? How do you bridge the divide in this country? You guys have very strong opinions. You have certainly heard people who do not like Donald Trump. I think if we really start to look at how we really have a lot more in common and we all really want the same goal. We want safety and security for our country. We want, you know, um, our, our, our children to thrive. We want, you know, to be able to pay our bills. I think we have to get control of the media. I think we really have to get control of the media if you want to unify people because I think that they have a way of really controlling the narrative. I agree with Angie. I feel as though my perception of the media is they've gone away from journalism and now they're activists. Instead of saying this is what happened, this is the news, they're implying their opinion. I don't want your opinion. I want the news so I can form my own opinion. When I asked Angelic about the First Amendment and freedom of the press, she said that should stand, but she wants just factual information. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.